Greetings and welcome. This is Sherry from Spiritual Magic Journey and this is your monthly tarot card reading. Predictions for my lovely Aries for the month of October. So we're coming up on spooky season here. So before we begin guys, let me quickly say thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing to all my uh, social media platforms. I appreciate each and every one of you. Now, let's dive in and see what's going on for our beautiful Aries for the month of October. I'm going to ring my bell, take a sip of my tea, and we shall begin. Here we go, hiding my team in to assist with this reading as we begin here to see what's going on. So, happy Halloween. Guys, happy Solon. Don't eat too much candy. <laughs> I hope everyone out there is having a beautiful, blessed, blessed month. But what is going on with Aries? What does Aries need? It's not spirit. So we got the Four of Wands, Justice, and we got the World card. Okay. What else is going on? Aries will take the card that came out, which is fertility. All right. I see some inspiration and authenticity. Okay, so let's dive in here. What is going on with our beautiful Aries this month? Okay, Aries, we got some big transformations that are happening with you this month big transformations and these are internally and physically that i see going on i see a lot of things that's going on here i feel like you you are finally taking off the mask and you see the lady taking off the mask and being who you are it's like you're coming going through this transformation of finding out um exactly um, where you do belong and where you don't belong. It's like you are cleaning house. And it's going to set you on a new path, too. So the challenges, the, the obstacles, the things that have been stalled, you're getting um, removed out of your um, way this month. So big things are occurring with you. There's such... Um, uh, joy and happiness that's coming in, that's wanting to come in. This energy is wanting to come in this month. So lots of inspiration going on here. So going, those difficult times are moving out of the way. So you're going to a period of, I see ending of, of, of those challenges and troubles and, and fear, worry, and doubt. But also, you're going through a transformation inside when I you know when I said physically and internally of being who you are and, and realizing that you know if you don't belong somewhere or it doesn't feel right to you and you're having to put on this facade of of being something that you're not you're you're not going to be doing that anymore you're going to be stepping into your own so what if you don't fit in with the crowd? Who cares? You know, you're doing your own thing. It's so unique. It's going to be so unique to you. Uh, I see you starting new things, new projects that's coming in here um, for you. And just uh, a time of, of, of a lot of possibly celebrations to this month. So you're starting, something is ending here, and something new is beginning with you. So big transformations. Now let's go through the cards. You've got the fertility and the four of wands, and you've got the Isis inspiration. Oh man, all this inspiration is coming in. You're in this fertility, this 
a growth period here, this big transformation where this abundance could be coming in in so many different ways here. And some of you could possibly even find out that you are pregnant or if you're wanting to be pregnant, this is a good time. If you're not wanting to be pregnant, you know what to do because you're in a fertility period. You're in a, also in a harvest period too. So there's going to be lots of celebrations that is going on here. For you this month could be attending parties, dancing, your own celebrations, your own promotions, you starting businesses or doing your side hustle or doing whatever you can. Something new is definitely taking place here and there's lots of, um, I wouldn't say abundance to go around and your inspiration and your optimism is way up this month. So you're um, really looking forward to things that are happening in your life. There's poss possibly travel that is going on too. So I see this uh, cycle of, of challenges and stuff just ending for you. I feel like also they wanted me to throw, just throw this out there for you guys if there's any um, any injustices. I feel those will be righted for you. Could be some court because we do have the justice card here. Um, I feel those possibly in favor uh, for you. Also feel like there's a need to be uh, in balance with yourself. I, I feel like this transformation that's coming in is going to bring that in for you. So there's more balance, more harmony, more peace in yourself and in your life because you are, again, taking off the mask, being who you truly are. If you don't belong in this group or with certain people or at a certain job or um, things that are just no longer working for you, you're going to remove yourself and you're going to be on or start your own, um, uh, I don't want to say it could be journey, but just a new beginning for you is happening here um, this month. And it could be a new job. It could be um, you walking away from something, uh, a job that is no longer, you know, working for you. And you're just doing your own thing, you know, on the side and, and turning it into a business. Um, so uh, lots of things going on and lots of ideals coming to you. And it's like you've got this optimism and inspiration that's coming for you this month. So it's a really good month for you. Let's get a postcard from Spirit. Also, I feel like you guys, with this new big transformation that's coming through and things end in the new beginnings, it's like you're you're building your own foundation, um, and you're working hard to that, putting the roots down. It could be about possibly getting on or moving some to somewhere new, um, possibly a marriage too. I want to throw that out there or an engagement this month. So lots of celebration, lots of enthusiastic, uh, being enthusiasm, flying around and, and all these ideals and um, optimism just flowing um, so graciously in your life this month. So that's good news. Well, let's get a postcard from Spirit. It says, Dear Shu, did you know that when you stop fighting and accept everything exactly as it is right now, miracles start to happen. There is a freedom in this kind of radical acceptance. Let go of the unrealistic expectations and see things as they really are, not how you'd like them to be. You'd be surprised at how everything seems to fall into place. When you refuse to accept things, life gets messy. You act messy, and your world stays in chaos, tension, and disarray. But don't try to force a change or manipulate the circumstances. Instead, learn about what is in front of you and face it with your own eyes, fully open. Then you can decide to stay or go, sink or swim, or move on, or stay, or stay still. Except that says the key to freedom and opens the door to the real opportunities waiting to be discovered. Set yourself free and others free. 
loving you so much always and forever it's a beautiful message there from postcards from spirit guys gonna leave you with that hope this helps you in your journey through life blessings my friends and namaste